do you see here hi guys and gals well hope you're all well and it is Tuesday there's a lady walking her dog over there it was a really big dog and as she saw me she decided to go walk actually in the in the woods with the dog so that's okay I wouldn't have minded I mean it's, uh, at the same time maybe she was worried that her dog was gonna you know be too friendly whatever oh so we're walking around here a little bit in the woods uh, not far from work actually and one of the fun things now is that since the snow was actually melted a bit and the ice has gone away I'm actually able to walk here I have to wait and see if it gets to be very muddy though but we'll see yeah I saw an article was it yesterday I think in the in the New York Times you know one of these articles where you wonder like uh, is it some kind of between a pseudo science, pseudo human interest, and waste of time type of story? It was a bit. It was on yawning. Well, it was a bit going on about. Uh, uh, do we know why we yawn? Uh, the spoiler is no, we don't. <laughs> There'd been articles though and scientific stuff, you know, going on about. Well, you know, it's part of uh, adding oxygen and. Uh, uh, sometimes it just has no no real meaning I mean and it, it is contagious it seems and between uh, you and your dogs if you start yawning probably your dog will as well and maybe vice versa and between dogs and so on and pretty well all type of species do yawn so there's something some type of commonality to it um, some people yawn when they're stressed I think that's probably the case with myself. I remember before every having very big exams, I'd kind of like go into a, oh, kind of a, oh, I'm feeling zen or whatever, you know, and I'd, I'd yawn and people would say, are you tired? And I'd say, no, I'm just, uh, just yawning. <laughs> and I, maybe there is something though about the oxygen thing. I think if you, what do you want? I mean, if you're pulling all that stuff in, all that oxygen in, there's got to be something related to to oxygen intake but there's more to it than that it seems oh let me see oh, while we're at it we'll go see what's left of the circle it's somewhere around here yeah well here it is well that's left from the last uh yeah so it's been kind of like taken apart and there was the fire in the middle and yeah it's, it's interesting that every time they make one, people come and take it apart. It must be part like of the ritual, you know. Uh, you build something and I'll come and tear it down. Anyway, yeah, but I was getting back to, to the yawning. Uh, what, what do you think? I mean, is there a, have you noticed actually that it is, does seem to be contagious? When somebody yawns, often others, others do and like I say even between the animals but uh, are there situations where really in your life particularly I mean aside from, from being tired where you really do yawn like I say I tend to yawn probably before stressful situations some people just yawn out of boredom and at a point one can wonder is all based on the same thing we just need extra oxygen to wake us up or to stimulate our brains I don't know. So you see, after I read the article, I thought, wow, I've wasted a few minutes of my life reading this. And now at the end of this vlog, you'll be able to say the same thing. Wow, I just wasted a few minutes of my life listening to him talk about yawning. <laughs> okay, everybody. So what do you think about it? Take care, everybody. It's, yeah, like I say, it's Tuesday. So the week is still uh, just budding. There's a lot of stuff to do next week in Ireland so we'll see how it goes then so everybody take care have a nice Tuesday bye bye